Breaking news out of Tennessee Athletics today is Lady Vol basketball head coach Kelly Harper has been let go from the university. Here with me now is Maria Cornelius, 247 Sports Tennessee writer. You've been covering the Lady Vols for nearly 25 years. I'm sure today it's hitting the whole Lady Vol fan base hard. And I mean, you were covering them back when Kelly was a player. You saw her transition. I mean, a lot of years in between there, but saw her transition from a player and into a head coach. Just, I mean, what was that emotion like the day she got hired and the day you saw her transition from her alma mater to a head coach? Kelly Harper was such a competitive player, won three national championships. Um, Pat Summit used to say she was one of the people that reminded her most of her. It was her and Nikki Caldwell Fargus. So it was, you know, it was a happy day, of course, when she gets hired. It was also sad because Lady Vol fans were saying goodbye to a former Lady Vol who, who had parted ways with Tennessee. So it, it, was, it was tough news for Lady Vol Nation today because now that's back-to-back beloved Lady Vol legends that it did not work out at Tennessee. Speaking of that, putting the Lady Vol fan base through this for a second time in not too many years, just five-year span, I mean, how do they rebound? How do they get through this, this coaching change? One, you, I think you, you cast a wide net and you get outside of the Lady Vol family. There, there is not at this point an obvious candidate that would, that would fall into that category. Given Kelly's resume, and she had plenty of success here, the next candidate is going to be somebody whose success elevates even that. So we're talking conference championships, elite eights, final fours. They're going to have to find somebody at that level, and they're going to have to pay somebody at that level if they're going to make these kind of changes. I know you said that there's not an obvious option, but are there any viable options, anyone that you've kind of heard thrown around that you think has that capability to fill those shoes and up that resume? I mean, names are going to get tossed around. Social media feeds, yours, mine, they're, prob they're all over the place. Everybody's suddenly a coaching search expert in my Twitter feed. The first name that came to mind for me only because, and quite, we're going back to ties to Pat, though didn't coach here, is Wes Moore. He is from Tennessee. He has two degrees from Tennessee, a bachelor's and a master's degree. He worked Pat Summit's camps. His team is now in the Final Four. I, I would think that that would be a name that would come up. Now, his wife is from Raleigh. Do they want to leave? I don't know. I'm just saying that's a name that if you're talking about exceeding what, what Kelly has done, that would be a name that would come up. Interesting connection since Wes and Kelly just played in that second round and he gave her one of her, I mean, major break, major start at Chattanooga. So that'd be interesting. They decided to bring Wes more here. Well, thank you so much, Maria, for joining us. And we'll keep you updated with the latest on the firing of head coach Kelly Harper.